Okay, I want to make this video, and I want you to know right now, those videos, any videos I posted to be smoking or drinking has not happened since July 17th, the date of my last situation with the law. I'm not smoking or drinking in real life right now, okay? That's my guidelines. I'm trying to follow them. I'm trying to stay free, trying to do what I need to do. Now that we passed that, because I want to make sure, because I don't want nobody taking a video that I put on YouTube or anywhere else, put some proof behind that, that I smoked or drunk past a certain date on camera, relevant. But the main moral of this video is this, fellas. When you see the red flags as far as badass kids, when you see red flags as far as disrespectful, not being truthful about things. Once a woman gets settled in, once all the lovey-dovey and the going on dates every time I see you type shit stop happening, and we just meeting up really talking about what's real, get the fuck out of there. Because once you invest, you will trick yourself into thinking you should stay. When really, bro, take that L that you invested in Go ahead and take that all that rest of that energy you have left and any new energy you will get into something that's real and true. Don't waste your time, bro. Don't end up being old as hell. Look, I got gray hairs. <laughs> I'm telling this because I'm got i 33, got gray hairs, a whole bunch of them, from wasting time. Now, I'm still in my prime. I can still run around, do whatever. The moral of the story is this. Don't waste your time. You ain't going to be young forever. Don't nobody want to be out here trying to buy no pussy because all the pussy you could have got, you threw it away for one rotten pussy. Don't do that. Don't do it. Throw that fucked up fish back just because you threw your bait out there and you got a decent fish. Okay, you can be like, okay, I can get a bigger fish. I got a bite pretty quick. Let me put that one in the bucket. Not sure if we're going to take that home, fillet it and cook it. No, I'll let him eat it, but let me put my bay back out there and see if I can get something bigger and better. Please listen, fellas. I've learned over the last four years, a few years before the pandemic and during the pandemic. Now we are, everything is unraveling. A lot of stuff, our relationships and stuff is unraveling more than ever on a whole different level because everybody's in everybody's face 24-7. There's no things to hide, bro. Kids, parents, cousins, family, you can't hide shit. Everything is out there. There is no getting around being stressed. There's no getting around arguments, no getting around none of that. Get your bread, stay out the way. And stay away from these dudes that want to start trouble and then want to run when it's time to fight and shit. Stay away from these dudes that's always talking about fighting, but you never seen them fight. Stay away from these dudes always talking about shooting, they ain't going to shoot shit. Stay away from these dudes that always got guns and then still don't be shooting shit. Just do that. Please, fellas. Hey, be a lone wolf. You Just because you're a wolf don't mean you got to be a part of the pack. You can be strong. You can be a... Your presence in the room can be a hundred strong. If you write mentally and physically, when you're approaching... When you get on the scene, when you slide, pull up, whatever, you don't got to have 100 niggas with you. You don't need 100, 100 co-signs either. Feel me? You don't need no nigga to co-sign that you get money. You don't need no nigga to co-sign that you going to pull up and get busy when it's time to get busy in the streets or whatever the case may be. Stamp yourself. Establish yourself. And know that your true family, your only family, your kids, they come from you. Take care of them. Because you're not going to be that nigga forever. And if you run into problems when you're old and you can't handle it with somebody younger, who the fuck's supposed to step up? Your kids not. They don't got respect for you. Remember that. Shit, I'm trying to do what I need to do. Take care of mine. It's very well. So they can deal with my crazy old ass. I'm kind of crazy now. But slide on me, ENT. Slide on my channel, ENT. It's going to be a whole lot. We're going to be in the truck. We're going to be doing a lot. Nigga on bail right now. I would appreciate some donations for real. I'm on bail. I'm trying to make a whole lot of things happen. And 
I got a good 90% chance of beating my case outright or a good 100% chance of doing less than six months. Six months or less. In the county, not prison time. But I'm going to tell you right now, they on some bullshit. They trying to railroad me. All I try to do is be a father to my kids, make sure my kids were safe, make sure their mother was safe, make sure their siblings were safe, make sure everything was straight, and make sure nigga gonna put some respect on my name. <laughs> straight like that. You feel me? Now you wanna you hit me up. Rich Boy Rob, Snapchat, Instagram. Hit me up. Black Trump on Facebook though. Rich Boy Rob, dollar sign, Rich, R-I-C-H, boy, B, capital B. Look, I ain't no boy. I just put the boy in there like dope boy. You know what I mean? That's the boy part, a little hood shit. But my point is this. Dollar sign, Rich, R-I-C-H, boy, B-O-I, Rob, Carp, capital R, O-B. What my real name is, what my real life is, don't worry about all that. We'll get to that. Because ain't no fucking, ain't no skeletons in the closet. Closet door, all the doors in this house open. Hmm? Guns under the couch. Let's go.